Come clean. Tell Nigerians the truth and move fast. The economy is not looking good, but Smack Rewain warns Tunumbu. A renowned economist and managing director, chief executive officer of financial derivatives company Limited in Lagos, Bismarck Rewain has urged President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu to tell Nigerians the truth and do something quick to save the nation's economy, saying the situation is not looking good. Rewain stated this during an interview on Channel's Politics Today. He said, and I quote, he said there is no quick fix solution to Nigeria's economic challenges. He said that what the president needed to do at the moment was to block the leakages and look for competence rather than loyalty. Rewain said, you have to be honest to yourself. There is no quick fix to Nigeria's economic problem. Come clean to the Nigerian people and tell them that this is the extent of the problem. We did it after the civil war. Chief Awolowo came and said what to do. At the end, everything was rebuilt and the economy came back to where it was supposed to be. So come clean, block the leakages and look for competence. Competence is more important at this time than loyalty. Look for competence and make sure that you execute efficiently. Any solution that requires printing more money is not the panacea for infl inflation. Inflation is the beginning of the end of a currency and the end of a currency is the beginning of a political crisis. The situation is not looking good. Tunumbu, you have to do something and do it in a hurry. And make sure you get feedback so that you are monitoring the situation because the feedback you get may be wrong. You may think you're on the right path while you're on the wrong path. Honest and professional feedback as to what the truth is. Without the truth, you cannot set the people free. Bam! Come outside and tell the people the truth. I love this particular advice. Do you understand? I so much love this particular advice. This person don't as in he talk as he be. Do you understand? Number one, he said, tell the people the truth. Block the leakages. Your ministers are misbehaving. Uh, you, you, you thought that they are going to represent you well. You thought that Oga fling of your your bobo down, your down. This as in is it that disappoint? <laughs> Remove them. Put people, look for competence and not loyalty. It is better you bring in, like I said, strangers. It is better you bring in somebody that was recommended, that came highly recommended. When OBJ worked with Mungo um, Okonji Wela and the uh, was it called Soludo and one other person, was it not um, the lady Dora Kone, God bless her soul? They came recommended, highly recommended. He did not know them from Adam. It is not a matter of eh, my brother, son-in-law, you know, my great grandfather, auntie's uncle's sister, or a distant relationship to my great grand auntie, sister, brother, nephew. No, these were people who came recommended. They knew their onions, and when they came, they brought in their brains, and they worked alongside ABJ. And I make you realize ABJ time things they okay. So it is time for you to your everything done. Appoint people, remove all of them that are not functioning well. People who it is their work that speaks for them. And if they come recommended like that, they will also want to prove to you that it is their work that gets them to where they are. They are not looking for favoritism from you. You understand? It is their work that they will use to look for favoritism. It is their work. They want to do as in, they want their, their, their work to be showing. Whatever they are doing to be showing. That is if Tenobi is going to be taking this advice. Huh. Hard facts for hard moments. If fraud was identified and discovered as the reason for ineffective subsidy implementation, crush the fraud and strengthen the subsidy regime and let Nigerians enjoy their God-given patrimony. Permanent removal because of scam is keen to throwing the birth, throwing with the best water. The negative backlash from subsidy removal shows that it is indeed needed to stabilize the economy because energy and transportation is key to realizing equilibrium. I urge Mr. Presido to try this model. I did tell you. I mean economic advisors to ex-presidents. Okay, I'm patiently waiting for 2027. Make I vote for my Jagaban talk. You are among the wise economic team advisors was accomplished nothing. It is quite interesting that the rich also cry, but it's like we reach a stage and the rich will be crying louder than the poor. If you see road follow bush, when snake bites you, no disturb my peace, I beg. We that knew it was going to 
we that knew it was going to be like this already prepared emotionally to absorb it. Oh. We all knew that the economy is nothing to write home about. No, sir. APC global supporters said the president is on track. They said he's doing very well. May turnable happen to them and their families in the name of Jesus Christ. Mr. Bess McRaven was a big time supporter of Mr. President. Tenembo is a continuation of that disastrous government. Talk. Anybody coming to give you democracy can only give you democracy. Make Una hear what? God don't give us signs since Corona. Una still they look dollar price. When most you know even, when most you know even know how many months to yam, okay, to yam grow. You think after our precious stones diamond, etc., has become inferior to white man's paper. Anything will change in this world. God has prepared Africa for the end time. People abroad in deep states know what is coming. The population schemes. We did the fast, putting our hope in money. Tight pastors. I don't understand what this person is trying to say. But me, this particular information. Yes, this person may be the kind the person that supported Buhari. Remember what I said about. I don't understand. You used to do something wrong before, and you can't reach where you're supposed to give good advice. You can't say because you did something wrong before. You know, go come and call advice. Okay? Whether this person has done a, a, something wrong before, you support government we no good, you support the one we good though, as far as this moment is concerned. If this person is going to be the one that will give advice that, you know, is going to save everybody, it's going to make things get better. And the person's advice comes on, you want to now say, eh, that time you are supposing Buari doesn't make sense. Okay, take the advice, so take the advice that is looking okay. Impute it, Abby. This man called Chid is displaying. No, okay. We are writing to the truth, but I've destroyed the system, economy, and everything. So, Terrible need not see because we know Terrible will have many competent people in place who will turn things around for good. Eh. He picked loyalty. This person knows he picks loyalty over competence. You don't pick loyalty over competence, you pick people you don't know. They are rev as a result proving people. You are picking people that their work portfolio is showing that uh, I do this, I manage this, I make this so, so and so happen. You don't pick people who are loyal to you. What do you, what, what loyalty does not give anything. That is not when you lead loyalty. The time for loyalty has passed. Yes, you are going to need to step on a lot of toes. But if you step in a lot of toes, it's going to put your name or write your name in gold in history. As the one who actually came in and meant war for Nigeria and stabilized the economy and is able to at least bring up the economy from the dead and you know set it on a path of progress. Why? Why not? Will you rather you be with people who are loyal to you but they do not get the work done, or you be with people who are going to get the work done? Their own nothing concerned and concerned loyalty. Their own is has the work is the work done. Is the economy now, economy now stable? Is the naira now stable? Now it be their own. Are things now looking better? The inflation, has it stopped? Is it now coming down? That is what you want to hear. Not whether this person is you, whether this person is your great grandfather's bosom friend's son. Alright, so on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning to listen and till I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.